Well, there was a special ceremony Thursday at Arlington National Cemetery in observance of the birthday of Audie Murphy. Audie Murphy is the most decorated soldier in the history of the United States. His recognitions include the Medal of Honor, the Distinguished Service Cross, two silver stars, and high honors from France and Belgium. Staff Sergeant Dion Moses has more. His biography reads more like fiction than fact. He fought in North Africa, Sicily, Italy, France, and Germany. He earned a battlefield commission for his courage and leadership ability, as well as citations and decorations including every medal for valor that America gives. Each year on June 20th, the Sergeant Audie Murphy Club of the Military District of Washington holds a commemoration at the Murphy gravesite. He was an unlikely hero, only 5 foot 5 and 110 pounds, an orphan from Texas. He was promoted rapidly through the enlisted ranks and received a battlefield commission. He is credited with destroying six German tanks and killing as many as 240 enemy soldiers. Audie may have been the last American war hero. He was the best combat soldier in the 200 plus year history of the United States. After the war, Murphy moved to Hollywood where he made 44 movies. His best known film was a dramatization of To Helen Beck, his own account of his war experiences. He set a legacy that carries on today very, very alive and that I'll, I think all of our service members, not just soldiers, Army, Navy, Air Force, Marines, Coast Guardsmen, National Guardsmen can use Audie Murphy as an example to emulate. During the ceremony, special guest Sergeant Major Battaglia paid tribute to the Army's Sergeant Audie Murphy Clubs. But Sergeant Audie Murphy wasn't someone about awards or award chasing. He was about taking care of his men and women and getting the mission accomplished. Members of the Sergeant Audie Murphy Clubs wear blue ribbons with a medallion. Membership is open to Army NCOs E4 through E7. Audie Murphy Club itself is a way to honor non-commissioned officers who have soldiers, who lead by example, who show the best of everything that the Army has to offer, from leadership to physical fitness to their ability to take care of their soldiers. The clubs are also dedicated to giving back to their communities, both on and off base to honor the legacy of Audie Murphy on the days before and after his birthday. Reporting from the Pentagon, I'm Staff Sergeant Dion Moses. The Sergeant Audie Murphy Club was founded at Fort Hood, Texas. Chapters exist at bases around the country and overseas. To become a member, an NCO must demonstrate exemplary leadership and military skill.